for your child's school. That's what a state bill aims to collect. It was proposed after findings made by the two news investigators. Marla Carter is tracking your tax dollars and joins us live from our newsroom. Karen, for almost a year now, the two news investigators have uncovered millions of dollars owed to Tulsa County in delinquent property taxes. Our investigation prompted legislation for a fix. Go ahead and go to the start menu. With overcrowded classrooms, a teacher shortage, and a need for more textbooks, Tulsa Public Schools Superintendent Dr. Keith Ballard says schools flat out need more money, especially when you consider they're not getting some of the money they're already owed. The state really needs to follow their own guidelines. Uh, I think it would look good if they would follow the law. One eighth one. Now there's a solution that could help bringing hundreds of thousands of dollars to TPS alone. A majority of the property taxes you pay go to public schools. In July, the two news investigators first told you that one entity owed more in late property taxes than anyone else. It was the state of Oklahoma. Its tab, $2 million, owed just to Tulsa County. Here's why. To bring manufacturers to Oklahoma, the state offers to pay the manufacturers property taxes. The problem is, the state didn't have enough money to pay all of those taxes. In fact, the two news investigators found the state owed $26 million to counties and districts in back taxes across the state. We told state lawmaker Senator Sean Burridge about what the two news investigators uncovered and he promised a fix. We definitely need to find a way to pay our bills on time. We owe that to the citizens. Today, he delivered, filing a bill. There is a state fund set up to pay the manufacturer's property taxes. Under the new bill, once that fund gets low, the fund would automatically draw more money in from the general fund. That way, it's never empty. For Dr. Ballard, that could mean hundreds of thousands of dollars more in education funding for his district every year. Well, you know, let me say kudos to you and thank you for raising this issue. I really didn't know the extent of the unpaid state uh, ad valorem taxes until you did your full investigation. The state of Oklahoma just made its last payment for 2012 in December, making them six months late. The two news investigators will continue to track this legislation. Marla Carter, two news works for you.